What's up everyone, TerraQuake here, and welcome on back to the Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. In the last episode, we checked out the survival area and then took on Route 226, took down the trainers there, and now we've kind of made our way to a little bit of an intersection. So if we keep on going east, we can get to Route 228, and that will kind of take us to around the top right portion of Post Game Island, and then that will lead us back down to the resort area. Or we can continue going north onto Route 227, which takes us to Stark Mountain. And Stark Mountain, as I've said, is kind of like the main area that you want to try to get to here on Post Game Island. So we're going to head straight north through Route 227 in today's episode. Now, you can see these, like, I guess ashes coming down. I'm assuming that's what this is because Stark Mountain is like a volcano type of place, I think. I could be totally wrong about that, but, um,. Yeah, that's why all the ashes are around here. Also, I hope you guys aren't getting sick of me, like, saying post-game island. It's just what I call this place, man. But I feel like people are just getting sick of me saying it. Like, oh my gosh, shut up. Because I've just been saying it, like, the past couple videos um, since we are in the post-game after all. But, yeah, it's just what I call this place. Anyways, Route 227 is not too long at all. So, uh, yeah, there's only a few trainers. And there is actually an outer portion to Stark Mountain, which I'll be covering in this video as well. Holy smokes. Tauros just ate that. Okay. It's safe to say that we need George in here. Yeah, this Tauros is up at level 61. But yeah, in today's video, we'll also be seeing like, uh, you know, Barry and Buck, which is kind of cool. We'll be meeting back up with those characters. There's also a little resting house along the way, which is nice. You don't have to go all the way back to the Pokemon Center or anything. And you hit yourself. George, that's really not good, because that's going to do a ton of damage, and this thing has Zen Headbutt. Um, alright, Infernape, can you, uh, break through confusion, please? Come on, here you go, this is your chance. Hey, you snapped out, see? I took the risk, because I knew Curious George was going to come through. He does not let me down, man. And there we go, we killed the Toro, sweet. Look at that, 10 HP clutch. Hope you guys are all having a good Monday, by the way. A good start to your week. Um, you know, we'll see how this week goes. I'm recording on Sunday right now. Hopefully going to get a few videos recorded just to get ahead a bit. That would be nice because I have a feeling I've got another busy week coming up in terms of school workload and all that stuff. So we'll see. And one thing I need to start doing is uh, start working on the art for uh, the next series pretty soon. Just like the little background and thumbnails that I use. So, I'll be doing that, and hey, you can get a glimpse of Barry up there. Yeah, he's actually going to be with Crasher Wake, still talking about how, like, Crasher Wake is his master, and then Crasher Wake says, no, I'm not your master, what the heck? And here is a Skip Loom. All right, this should be much easier to deal with, Probo Pass, right? You can pretty easily chuck some rocks at this thing and take it down, I would hope. And, you know, even if we don't knock it down one hit, maybe you can get a flinch. Wait, no, why am I saying that? We didn't even outspeed. But we killed it in one hit, so it doesn't even matter. Let's go. And do you have a jump love or something? No, you have a low punny. All right, well, George, get right back out here then. Yeah, here's another one of these Pokemon Rangers. Um, they're all around these routes trying to preserve the area, make sure there's no littering going on. But hey, maybe that's why the routes in Post Game Island are actually cool and uh, unique because... They've got people protecting them. I don't know. What if, like, people are just dumping trash all on mainland Sinnoh? <laughs> you know, and that that whole uh, mainland part is just going to waste. So, hey, maybe Cyrus was correct about, um, <laughs> about you know, trying to get a new world and stuff. Because, who knows? Sinnoh could just be slowly dying away thanks to trash. I don't know. Anyways, ooh, ooh. We almost went back over that ledge to the start of the route, but here's Crasher Wake and Barry. Now, Barry is, again, referring to him as his master, and Crasher Wake's like, no, kid, shut up. And Crasher Wake also is like, hey, you've come a long way, TQ. And Barry also just wants to learn how to get his team stronger and um, all that good stuff. But then Crasher Wake warns us about Stark Mountain. Yeah, there's some strong trainers, some strong wild Pokemon. Watch out for them. And then he's off, and I think that might be, like, the last time we see him. I don't really know. And, yeah, Barry wants to go to the Battle Frontier. And here's the house that I talked about a second ago. You've got uh, the little old lady in here. And, yeah, we can take a rest. And she sounds like one of those people that will, like, 
Yeah, okay. She sounds like one of those people that will uh, keep on asking if you want to rest because you keep on looking so tired. There's a lady just like that in Gen 3 too. I think she's like north of the desert. I just, I don't know. I have that house ingrained in my brain. Now across this bridge is Buck and he actually wants us to keep on going north towards Stark Mountain because he's saying that some people dressed as spacemen are kind of disrupting the area and this is a pretty precious area. And if you can't tell by that description, that means Team Galactic is back. And funny thing, um, Team Galactic is now, by the way, there's a yellow shard. But yeah, now that Cyrus is gone, Team Galactic is controlled by Sharon and, or Charon, however you want to say his name. But he's that dude with purple hair that we saw in the Valley Windworks. He's kind of one of the admins, but not really because, well, he's not named after a planet. And uh, you also just don't battle him or anything. He didn't really have any significant role throughout the main storyline, but uh, I don't even know if you see him in this place. You might, but I'm pretty sure you just end up like fighting grunts and whatnot. For now, we are fighting an ace trainer who's going to paralyze us, of course. But yeah, you can tell we're getting pretty close to the mountain and I'm just going to switch. I'm not trying to deal with no paralysis, man. Pro will pass. You're like the lowest level on the team and not going to lie, you're sort of having a tough time, man. It kind of stinks. We get the sandstorm up though. Great, now we got ashes falling down and a sandstorm. Oof, this is a rough area to be in. Oh, and a critical night slash too. Appreciate it, Saviper. Yo, look at Saviper's like tongue and fangs. When I was younger, I used to get those confused because like, I don't know, they're both red and I mean, sure, you can see that the fangs are coming down from the top of his mouth, but his mouth is just a whole big mess in my opinion. And then he's got the red eyes and red tail. This dude's all about the red. And now he's dead. Yo, bars, I'm a poet, didn't even know it. All right, who is up next? Persian, um, nah, see, I just wanna switch. When we've got close combat, you know I'm gonna switch to uh, George. I mean, we have access to the best fighting type move. Even though I think I might get outsped because Persian is a speedy little cat. Yep, oh wait, no, he went for fake out. But yeah, even though Persian may not look like it, I mean, he is a pretty skinny cat. He's not like your Garfield or something. One of those big old chonky cats. But he is definitely a fast boy. Not as fast as Infernape, though. I mean, who would win in a race, a cat or a monkey? I guess it depends on like, you know, are you in the jungle? Are you on the street? Because like, monkey would win in the jungle for sure. They just like swing across the trees and stuff. But, uh, you know, I guess it depends on, like, the type of monkey and type of cat. How did I get onto that topic, man? In the middle of a Pokemon Platinum video, I'm talking about a monkey and a cat racing. We need to make it happen, though. Someone who's watching this video right now, make it happen. Maybe you've got, like, a pet monkey and a pet cat. And, you know, you put, like, a banana at the end and then, like, cat food at the end. See who gets there first. I don't freaking know. Okay, Absol goes down. Looks like George will get to level 59, I believe which is pretty nice and yeah there he is sweet no new moves but again you're not gonna get too many new moves this late in the game all right so just next to this person is a zinc i don't really use those stat boosting items at this point but it's whatever all right let's head back across and then if we use rock climb i think there's some hidden items down here there might be two um we'll see and I think I need to spray Max Repels again. I don't want to run into any stupid Pokemon in the water. Let's see. Oh, no, it's not hidden. It is a charcoal, though. All right, that boosts fire type moves. Fitting that you'd find it around Stark Mountain, but um, I don't know. This late in the uh, this late in the game, it's almost kind of useless. Okay, so now we actually need to uh, we need to loop all the way back around. That's annoying. Yeah, we still have one more trainer to go here on Route 227. I'm looking for where they are. First off, there's a clearly hidden um, item, which is a star piece right there. And then, yeah, just sort of keep on following the path and we'll take on this black belt. There's a lot of ledges, but it should be pretty easy to get through. Also, I think I skipped over a uh, hidden max repel that was by those ponds where I used rock climb, but I bought so many max repels off camera between, um, you know, whatever episodes it was. So, I don't really need it. Anyways, we're facing a Breloom, which is not ideal. Really not ideal, if I'm going to be honest. Fighting type is definitely one of our biggest weaknesses. 
But I'll take the risk and go to Uzair because we're super effective with Ice Beam. And uh, I don't know if this is going to be a good idea, though. Oh, yeah, there's Sky Uppercut. Oh, sorry, Glaceon. I don't think you'll die, though, right? Right? You won't die? Ooh, almost. We outspeed, though, I think. Oh, yeah, Ice Beam. Maybe that'll kill. I sure hope so. I'm not really sure how good uh, Breloom's special defense is. And it does kill. Let's go. We've been taking some risks in today's episode, but I like it. You know, it's the post-game. We're just trying to have fun out here. We're going to take all the risks that we want, baby. And Black Belt Griffin is now going to a Metacham. Ooh. Okay, George. You've got, like, the only super effective move for this guy. And, yeah, for once, I actually remember that I have Shadow Claw. It's kind of just the move that I always forget in Fernet Paz, um, especially since I taught it so long ago. But, nah, he's got it, and it's pretty useful. Unless the opponent goes for Stupid Detect. Delaying the inevitable, man. I bet you he's going to go for it on the next turn, too. I will place money on that. Ooh, I thought that was a crit for a second. There's high jump kick. Would have been funny if he just missed and ended up killing himself. And, wow, look how powerful high jump kick is, though. And he did not go for detect, so, hey, I lose the bet. Everyone gets $1 million. Yay! Yeah, like, I got that kind of money. All right, so that's the last trainer there do i really want to heal up actually i'm gonna just stick glaceon up front right now because i know we've got a dragon tamer coming up so i guess i will take my time to heal up you because you'll actually be useful all right so let's move into the outer section of stark mountain i keep on wanting to call this place mount ember for some reason but that, that's literally in fire red and leaf green okay so i think if you want to progress you can go up those stairs Actually, they lead you to the same spot. All right, sweet. It's this rock climb wall that I think will take you to a life orb. So, yeah, if you uh, want yourself a life orb, you know, one of the items used in competitive battling, that's for sure, then make sure you bring along rock climb. And there's some lava down there, too. Kind of hard to see, but, yeah, it is a very hot place around here. I guess it's a perfect place for a dragon tamer. So let's go ahead and climb up this wall maybe jump scare this guy watch this boo oh he got so scared look at that he froze in place i had to talk to him to get him to battle me but yeah this is not a good place for darian's dragonite to be in because glaceon's out here he's gonna go for ice beam and probably get to level 60 so yeah that is super cool safeguard thank you for uh wasting your turn my boy and down you go sweet all right so i think there's one more item we're gonna grab and then i'll probably go ahead and call it a day stark mountain is pretty large i talked about it i think in yesterday's video but there's just a lot of double battles it's a huge area so i'm gonna save it for its own episode for sure so uh that will be the last battle but if we get close to the entrance i'm pretty sure we actually see oh what do i not have max repel sprayed i did not see those run out yeah, this thing's only level 53. What am I doing, yo? What am I doing? I, I swear I did not see the message pop up, but I'm just too focused in right now. And I don't know why Glaceon couldn't run away there. I feel like Glaceon was a faster Pokemon, but I don't know. The series has made me realize that it's kind of slower. Anyways, as I was saying, as you get closer to the entrance, first there's a Max Elixir. But you'll also see some Team Galactic Grunts walking in. And, uh... Yeah, who knows what they're trying to do. I guess they're trying to get Heatran or something. Or at least the little rock that Buck was talking about in order to summon Heatran. So, that is their whole goal here. But we just gotta wind our way around this path and follow them inside in tomorrow's episode. So for now, I hope you guys enjoy to have a great rest of your day. And until next time, deuces!